Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Just a reminder to kick off this video, there is another Falcon 9 launch expected very soon. As you can see on the SpaceX fans website, the XB launch is scheduled to lift off tomorrow, Thursday night at 6am UTC or 1am Eastern Time. I didn't include this in the last video, but SpaceX posted a few tweets about this launch. They said in the first tweet that they had completed the static fire test for the booster. Next, they posted XB is SpaceX's fifth launch to date for NASA's launch services program. As well as that, they also posted saying this will also be the fifth launch for this Falcon 9's first stage booster which previously supported launch of Crew-1, Crew-2, SXM-8 and CRS-23. I wanted to share this NASA article announcing a new class of astronaut candidates. It says one of them is Anil Menon, 45 Lieutenant Colonel US Air Force was born and raised in Minneapolis, Minnesota. He was SpaceX's first flight surgeon helping to launch the company's first humans to space during NASA's SpaceX Demo 2 mission and building a medical organization to support the human system during future missions. Jeff Faust posted a tweet saying Rogazin says cosmonaut Anna Kikina will fly on a US commercial crew vehicle in the fall of 2022 which would be Crew Dragon Crew 5 with a NASA astronaut flying on a Soyuz as part of a seat barter agreement. An interesting tweet was posted by Stephen Marr today. He said Falcon B-1052 rolled by the press site with an upper stage attached. This booster that had previously served as a Falcon Heavy side booster on two missions has now been converted to fly as a Falcon 9. To start the Boca Chica updates, the orbital launch mount is continuing to be worked on. The booster quick disconnect cover was moved to the launch site. This quick disconnect hood was also installed on the booster quick disconnect mechanism. Over in the production yard, the wide bay construction is continuing with more panels installed. This liquid nitrogen tank was delivered to the propellant production site. Here's a cool image posted by RGV Aerial Photography with a comparison of Starbase in January 2019 versus November 2020, such a huge amount of progress in that time. In relation to this tweet, Musk was asked when Starship update, definitely overdue. He responded and said hopefully this month, no later than next. There were a couple of tweets posted by Michael Sheets recently quoting Elon Musk that I wanted to share. The first says, Elon Musk says Starship is a hard, 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 hard project. This is a profound revolution in access to orbit. There has never been a fully reusable launch vehicle. This is the holy grail of space technology. The other one said, in order to make a rocket fully reusable, you've got to basically create a rocket that can do about 4%, if not more than 4% of its mass to orbit, which hasn't happened before. After the static fire abort, crews have been working inside the Starship 20 engine section. Taking a look at the Roden Beach closures once again, hopefully next week we'll see another static fire test of Starship 20. The closures that were expected today and tomorrow, as well as Friday, have been cancelled. However, there are further closures scheduled for Monday 13th and Tuesday 14th next week. This upper dome stack for the Starship 22 prototype was lifted and moved into the mid bay. After testing recently, the B2.1 test tank was moved back to the production site. Super Heavy Booster 4 was recently hooked up to a crane. Musk was asked about Booster 4 with this tweet saying, so how soon do we think B4 will move to the orbital launch pad? Elon Musk responded and said booster production is currently ahead of engine production. This booster 6 common dome section was seen sitting outside. There is also a booster upper stack that was seen sitting outside. These two sections were then stacked to form part of what is believed to be a test tank. As always I have to say thank you to Mary known as Boca Chica Gal for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also thank you to Nick Antsuini who's been out there filming some of the content too. Also, thanks to the NASA Spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.